in this session let us see how to calculate direction of torque developed without using left hand at all okay right hand we are going to use only for generate reaction in the sense in finding induced voltage direction and in the in finding direction of torque developed we are not going to use any left hand rule at all okay now for example this is n pole and this is s pole no need to remember anything here okay and from n to s flux lines will be in this direction n to s let me keep current carrying conductor here okay now we are injecting current because like you know there are two ways of developing torque okay one is by electromagnetic torque another is by reluctance torque immediately after this i will introduce reluctance torque also electromagnetic torque in the sense this is producing field electric uh, sorry magnetic field and this current also will produce magnetic field interaction of these two fields has to develop the torque okay so means because of electric current some torque is developed that is called as electromagnetic torque okay now direction of current is given you know right hand thumb rule okay in right hand thumb rule direction of current flux or direction of current flux direction now current is coming out here current is coming out here so flux direction should be in this direction okay so flux direction should be in this direction okay now interaction of black and red interaction of black and red if you see see black flux and red flux are in the same direction and here black flux and red flux are in opposite direction okay so field flux is going to be black armature flux is going to be red so interaction of field flux and armature flux will produce the resultant flux because of that resultant flux torque will be produced now what will happen because of this interaction black and red okay these two are opposing each other these two are aiding each other so opposing each other in the sense this particular flux line will travel like this because it is aiding here and this flux line will travel like this this flux line will travel like this so my resultant is going to be like this okay so these are behaving like a actually a magnetic flux magnetic flux once the magnetic flux is stretched they will like you know behave like a stretched rubber bands okay for example if the rubber bands are there here rubber bands are there here straight okay now if you tightly hold it to in this direction in this direction okay definitely torque will be developed in this direction to make them aligned stiff and straight so my torque will be developed in this direction electromagnetic torque te okay means conclusion is very simple my magnetic flux lines always behave like a stretched rubber bands if they are straight torque will not be developed if they are like you know diverted torque will be developed this is electromagnetic torque let me tell you about reluctance torque also for example this is n pole this is s pole okay now flux lines will be traveling like this traveling like this now for example if i keep my one magnetic material here okay this is magnetic material with relative permeability is very very high compared to one okay now means the moment magnetic material in the sense magnetic material will attract flux so maximum flux will try to flow through magnetic material only so my flux lines will travel like this okay so my flux lines are stretched like this or not yes so the moment my flux lines is kind of like you know rubber bands now rubber bands are stretched in this direction so torque will be developed in this direction this is reluctance torque why i'm saying there is reluctance torque because these are poles are creating flux but this is not creating any flux but if you think of here interaction of field flux and armature flux so two fluxes will be there will produce the torque electromagnetic torque and only one flux will be there one flux is also sufficient to produce the reluctance torque so position position of this okay will be deciding factor in producing the torque now let us think of actually in this session we are trying to understand direction of torque okay now let us see n pole try to observe here i'm not at all using any left hand rule at all okay now let me think of
this is the rotor okay let me have one conductor here one conductor here okay in order to produce the rap, two fluxes should be there for electromagnetic torque okay now one flux is being produced by poles another flux should be produced by conductors rotor rotor so maybe let us think of dot here cross here these are currents so what do we know whenever you have current automatically magnetic flux will come so cross here dot here okay cross here dot here flux will be in this direction now flux is in this direction sit in the air gap sit in the air gap from the rotor flux is coming out okay so flux is coming out in the sense if i sit here flux is coming out of the rotor so this should be n pole of the rotor this should be s pole of the rotor okay now this s pole will attract n pole s pole will attract n pole n pole n pole repulsion will be there Yes, pole, yes, pole repulsion will be there. So, torque will be produced in this direction. Getting my point, right? So, n pole, yes, pole attraction, yes, pole, n pole attraction. So, my rotor will try to rotate in this direction. So, we found the torque direction. Now, let me think of poles are at the rotor. Okay, so this is rotor. Now let us think of my stator. This is my stator. Okay. Now see if this is going to be n pole. If this is s pole. Okay. Here let me keep my conductors. Maybe this is dot. This is cross currents. Okay. Now cross here dot here. Currents. Currents. Means currents flux thumb rule. Generator action, right hand, means right hand rule, okay? Only right hand I'm using, I'm not at all using left hand. You also don't try to use left hand at all. Now, cross here, dot here, means that currents are flowing in this direction. So, flux will be in this direction, okay? If flux is in this direction, flux is in this direction, means that flux is in this direction, you have to sit in the air gap. Don't forget there, you have to sit in the air gap. Now, cross dot, currents, flux is in this direction. So, flux is traveling like this. Okay, flux is entering here. Okay, flux is traveling like this. You are sitting in the area, flux is going into the stator. So, this pole should be S pole of the stator. N pole of the stator. Now, flux is going from here to here or not? Yes. Okay, if you are confused, try to what they say, recheck the video, recheck the video, try to see multiple times such that you will get it. You have to get it. Okay, cross dot, flux is in this direction, flux is in this direction, means n pole is here, s pole is here, in the stator, flux is going in, the, in this direction, problem solved. Now, this is n pole, this is s pole, and this is n pole, this is s pole, so n pole, s pole attraction will be there, and n pole, s pole attraction will be there, so torque will be developed in this direction. Getting my point, right? Now, okay let us think of if i have stator and rotor current carrying conductors okay this is stator let me think of this is rotor okay in stator let me have maybe this can be cross here this can be dot here okay these are currents so whenever you have current automatically voltage will be induced or not yes oh, sorry whenever you have current automatically flux will be induced or not yes so cross dot cross dot flux will be in this direction okay so flux is in this direction flux is in this direction you are sitting in the air gap you are sitting in the air gap flux is in this direction so if you sit in the air gap flux is coming out of the stator means that it should be n pole this is n pole of stator, s pole of stator. Okay, now let me have on my rotor. Okay, maybe let me think of dot here, cross here. Okay, these are also currents. Okay, the moment these are currents, these, these currents also will produce flux. Flux is nothing but poles. Now, cross here, dot here. Currents, currents are entering here, currents are coming out here, this like this, okay. You are sitting in the air gap, 
this flux is produced by rotor okay so cross here dot here you are sitting in the area flux is coming out like this flux is coming out like this you are sitting in the area flux is coming out so it should be n pole of the rotor this should be s pole of the rotor okay now means this n pole n pole repulsion will happen n pole s pole attraction will happen s pole n pole attraction will happen so n pole s pole attraction s pole n pole attraction so torque will be developed in this direction okay now let me discuss one more question which was given in gate again for two marks okay means of course the detailed question immediately after this I will uh, write but see here in that question they have given this as theta okay now theta or MMF they have given in this direction okay now rotor MMF rotor MMF they have given right this okay they ask like you know such a lengthy question okay for that lengthy question they ask direction of torque developed and uh, poles formation now if i come back to here what is uh, what is a rotor mmf dear it is in this direction from n from n this is going to be mmf of rotor mmf of stator black black stator is in this direction mmf of stator is in this direction Right, that's it. Now, MMF of stata is in this direction. Means that my flux is going in this direction. My flux, you are see, you are actually this flux is being created by stata. Are you are sitting in the area? Flux is going in this direction. Flux is going in this direction. Means that this should be n pole of stata. This should be a yes, pole of stata. Such that flux C stata only sitting in the area. Flux is going in this direction or not? Yes. Okay. Now flux is from the rotor from the rotor so if you sit in the air gap if you sit in the air gap flux is coming out of the rotor or not yes okay so means if you sit in the sorry if you sit in the air gap seeing the rotor rotor flux flux is coming out or not so this should be n pole of the rotor this should be s yes pole of the rotor okay now n pole s yes pole attraction will happen okay so s yes pole n pole attraction will happen so torque will be developed in this direction electromagnetic torque okay actually the same question is asked for two marks in old gate okay let us see that question now in this question let me prove again like though the question is very lengthy solution can be very small very small okay so this was the question given in uh, old gate okay just to read itself it will take i think two minutes okay when stator and rotor windings of a two pole rotating machine are excited each would produce a sinusoidal mmf distribution in the air gap with peak values of fsfr respectively the rotor mmf lags stator mmf like you know much information is there okay but how to solve this how to solve this okay see ultimately they have given only one thing we have to see stator mmf is here and rotor mmf is here okay stator mmf is here and rotor mmf is here if you want a complete question that uh, problem set you please download okay this is data stator mmf is this okay stator mmf is here means that flux is flowing in that direction and as i told you previously always you have to sit in the air gap and observe okay now if this is the air gap right so if i sit on the air gap flux has to go like this in the stator flux has to go like this so in the air gap if i sit air gap and look into the stator stator flux is coming out flux is coming out so flux should come out of a north pole so this should be north pole of stator this should be south pole of stator such that flux is going in the same direction or not remember one thing always you have to sit in the air gap okay if you sit in the air gap you don't do any mistake at all now let me think of rotor okay my rotor mmf is given like this rotor mmf okay again sit in the air gap if you sit in the air gap flux is coming like this from the rotor flux is coming like this if you sit in the rotor and observe flux is coming out of the rotor okay so flux is coming out of the rotor if you sit in the air gap so this should be n pole of the rotor 
they should be s pole in the rotor okay now this m pole again let me repeat means stator is different rotor is different for example let me repeat again if i think of this as a rotor okay for example like this this is going to be f of a rotor now flux is coming out of the rotor okay so flux is flowing like this so if you sit here if you sit here and see if flux is coming out of the rotor let me sit in the air gap flux is coming out of this so this should be n pole of the rotor this should be s pole of the rotor now let me think stator only this is stator okay in stator f of stator like this so sit in the air gap sit in the air gap this is stator sit in the air gap look into the stator because it is stator mmf flux is going like this flux is going like this means that flux is entering into the iron means that it should be a yes, pole of the stator flux has to come out like this so if you sit in the air gap flux will come out of the air gap it's so going to be north pole now let us see simple this n pole and s pole should attract each other or not yes this s pole and n pole should attract each other or not yes so this n pole attract this means that torque should be in this direction that's it that is the question okay now they have given some numbers like you know see here this is stator mmf okay so in this stator mmf a b c flux is going in this direction so here it should be north pole north pole of the stator okay see here dear this is north pole that is south pole in the stator so a b c should give north pole area okay and maybe a c c d a d c should give you south pole okay now after that from the rotor point of view rotor point of view a d c a d c flux is coming out if you sit in the area a d c should be north pole and torque should be in this direction that's it problem solved so see dear c stator surface a b c a b c stator flux is coming like this a b c if it's in the air gap it will become n pole n pole c d a will become south pole now rotor surface a b c rotor surface a b c where is a b c a b c rotor flux is coming out like this rotor rotor so a d c will become north pole a b c will become south pole answer should be c okay and uh, torque is counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction problem solved okay